Your Whoa. doubt clouds your judgment. And you cannot see the path to victory. What's this? Oh, it's the Oven Engineer! And today, as an extra video for the day, we're gonna be reacting to the tiniest heavy in two fort. This is a video that was made by somewhat real, so please be sure to give a like on the original video before watching the reaction. And before we get to the video, I just wanted to say thank you to all my patrons who have been supporting the channel. Thank you so much. And now, on to the video. Have a good day. I can already see that the movement has already improved since last episode. And also, what happened with the lighting and the, the skin render? It seems almost that this is made in SFM, but it's a Gmod animation. Attention. What is it, administrator? Mission begins in 10 seconds. Time to work, Five, boys. Four, three, two, one. Time to fight. Wait, only sniper went through the main way? Oh, damn, are you not gonna go to work today? Demo, come on, you're not going to work? Okay, so this is what gets the plot started. Nice. <laughs> oh, please tell me that the one's gonna think that he's drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at the drink demo and, and question your sanity. Go on. I knew it. Ha! I knew it. I knew this was some good shite. And it is demo. Nice one. Oh, that sparks. <laughs> Damn, Heavy is actually very, very strong if he can actually lift that whole uh, gate by himself. Bye, Scout. Another sniper? Or is the spy? Now this is a usual match. Ooh. Nice S. Oh, Spy just don't give a fuck. And uh, That bullet became a muffin. What does everyone have against the little uh, the little somewhat real in these videos? Uh, why is... Oh, okay, he's very cosmetic. This is what Tiny Heavy wants. Carnage. What do you see? A little bit too high for you, Heavy. A little bit too high. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. The original video. Oh, these Gmod camera angles are so nice. And was there a Apples in Demo Man? Ooh, a cardboard uh, sniper. You guys didn't see it because of my, my shoulder, but he was right behind there. Maybe go through the stairs, right? <laughs> Honestly, it would be hard to not to, to laugh uh, when you see a tiny heavy running through the battlements. I think that even Saul Smith on one of his oldest videos had that. And uh, what was that scout? Did you guys see that? Right over here? The scout are looking around the corner? Okay. Damn, Heavy's gonna take uh, some time to get to the front lines. Oh, poor Heavy. Don't tell me he's just gonna reach the bottom. Uh, and he reached the bottom of the stairs when it's dark. Okay.
Hey, Angie. How you doing? Ooh. Don't you guys have a medic to heal all of that? I said it once and I will say it again. I'm the only spy who survived. Their defenses are strong. And their spy checking even stronger. Spyros. They're no longer attacking. I believe they're trying oh, to... Oh, this is the, the actual blue team from the restaurant. They decided to set up a strong line of defense. Both teams are short on resources. But if we want to win this, we should act before they get help. I believe they're in worse shape than we are. I didn't expect to actually see the blue team from uh, the restaurant episode. They're particularly hell-bent on defending it this time. Indeed. We know the red team lost control of a mysterious desert base and are planning to retake it. But we do not know its exact location or purpose. All we know is they're already moving to that base as we speak. We need to steal their briefcase now before it's dispatched to its destination. Mm. We will not have another chance like this. That's certainly easier said than done, mate. Yes. For each century we destroy, they build another two. And on top of that, our medic is unconscious. And we're having to rely on dispensers and spare This medics. just shows that uh, medic mains are scarce, and even in this universe. For us. I suppose there ain't much we can do right now. Can they just use the med, the med gun on him? It's been uh, shown that uh, other mercs can actually use other weapons. Dude, not this heavy. Partner? Not this heavy. heavy is not Don't oh. ignore heavy. <laughs> There's a spy around here. Oh. Oh. Heavy is not spy. Show yourself, you gosh darn <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> heavy is down here. Look. Oh. <laughs> the tiny, tiny heavy. What? Only for what? three hundred ninety-nine, three hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars, nine nine hundred dollars and ninety-nine cents. Did I speak the right? What is that thing over there on the floor? I thought Engineer was going to pass out. Uh, hmm. I think this is a. Uh, it's a uh, tiny desk heavy. I think it's a really small heavy. Yeah, it's a heavy, but a really small one. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's. I feel like so soldier's gonna it be nice having a finger broken. Yeah, break his finger. Break his finger. Break his finger. Jesus, soldier. So small, you could walk by the enemy team without being noticed. Yes. That's how and yes. You are. Yes. That's the that point. Be a bad plan, actually. If only he could somehow bring the intel with him. <laughs> yeah. Your well. doubt clouds your judgment. And you cannot see the path to victory. What's this? Oh, it's the open engineer! And I guess they didn't manage to bring him back to his normal state, right? little fella needs not to steal the intel for it. All he needs to do is infiltrate the enemy base and grant us access to their network. Now, Pyro! Hmm, a USB? This device contains a computer virus. Connect it to one of their computers and it will send all their data to us. What? Why in the blind fuck are you bringing this up only now, you imbecile? If you gave that device to me earlier, we would have gained access to all their information. None of y'all are worthy, spy. None of y'all. <laughs> Since the day I became one with the stove, I have had time to think and reflect upon the hidden truths of the universe. I have reached a higher plane of existence. Your feeble minds cannot fathom the levels of elevated thought my brain is capable of right now. I have achieved maximum IQ. And you knew thinking philosophy 2.0 and I have just given that damn device and quit your blathering. And you knew just uh, is thinking about the content creation alongside somewhat real. He knows that he needs to bring content to the table. All right, son. Tonight is the night you'll prove you're a real mercenary. This sniper here is going to shoot you across the map onto the red team's base so you can fulfill your mission. Avoiding the enemy Just imagine he actually hits a headshot by accident. With your stature, you should be able to easily conceal your presence. It is the sentry guns you should worry about. If you enter their range of attack, your size won't make much of a difference. I mean, it does. Power will obliterate you. 
Because technically, unless the enemy has a Wrangler, the sentries usually can aim to a certain height depending on uh, if you're using your taunt. So I do not know if the tiny heavy is gonna be, be able to make it. That's a good point. Well, that is a very good point, demo. This could work. Here, take this with your partner. Why do you have a as picture of Spy? This in front of you, they should ignore you. Are you really sure this will work? Nope. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right then, we're all set. Sniper, take aim and shoot. Shoot an arrow of victory. Come on, please tell me he's gonna root the hand them headshots. Come on. Oh, the pyro's gonna reflect. Where's our pyro? Oh, thank god, he has the, the flog. <laughs> the Vladinator cannot reflect projectiles, yes. And now you know. But wait, they have dispensers, what? Couldn't you recharge it on the Spencer sniper? What happened? Hmm, two heavies. Time to infiltrate the red team's base. <laughs> oh, come on. Really? Already over? Oh, I I was expecting the whole inf infiltration segment. No. Let me just go back here real quick because I want to look at something that actually caught my attention real quick. Here, I think. No, no, it was before that. Because right here, I want to show you guys the shadow scout that I saw. Look at this. After the moment laughs. It's going to appear right over my shoulder. Any second now. There was an ominous scout here. Damn, that's very creepy. And wasn't there another thing that I commented on the beginning of the video? Mm, I cannot remember now, damn it. But I have to say, this episode was very funny. Did not expect to, for us to actually rewatch the blue team from uh, the... Uh, from the restaurant episode. I thought that this was going to be a general blue team since we had so many members. But it's actually cool to see that the teams are not, uh, even on the red and blue, they're not exclusively only to the nine mercs that we've come to know through so many episodes. In the Hoovy adventure, we saw that the purple team had many repeated classes. The black team also are repeated mercenaries, but there is only one of each. But uh, the biggest faction, so they have many, many mercenaries and many different uh, classes among them in multiple numbers. So it's cool to see that the blue and red which would be the biggest by the, the default universe, they will show that in a fight like this. And I, think that, and I think that this is the first major fight that we have between red and blue on this series, with so many mercs like that. The previous biggest combat we have seen so far, it was the... Was it the Galactic Alliance or the Council? I don't remember the name of that. But they were wearing black and they had turrets with them versus the purple team which appeared also on the heavy adventure part one and two so it's very cool to see uh, large-scale conflicts uh, just uh, developing into the plot we had many references to other different episodes just like the the blue team's restaurant we also had reference to the red team tries to fight against uh, uh, the oh what was the name of the engineer that was uh addicted to nfts i don't I don't remember, but let's just call him the NFT engineer, which is also at loose around now, isn't it? I think that he's around the world, so we do not know what he can do, or if or when he's going to reappear. Because if there's something that I know about somewhat real, is that everything is going to be connected at some point via by mention, a character showing up, or just the story continuing to another direction after the first arc is concluded. So there's still a lot to digest. We still have a lot to know about the other universe or the parallel universe, uh, galaxy universe that uh, we've seen in a few videos. And we still have to know what's going to become of the plot about uh, the purple team discovering the location of the purple leader soldier or the, the purple soldier that is with the red team. And uh, it's also cool to see that at least the, the, 
red team, they just uh, chilled with purple soldiers. This just shows that uh, there can be many mercenaries from different factions to actually be friends. And that's a cool thing. And I think that that's it. Guys, thanks so much for coming. This is an extra video for today, so please be sure to give a like to the original video. If you want to support the channel, give a like and subscribe to this video. And if you really, really want to support the channel, please check out my Patreon, my membership, and my Pixkey if you're a Brazilian like me. Thank you so much for all the patrons that have been supporting the channel. And until the next video, I hope to see you guys there. Okay? Bye! See ya! Thank you.